Hi, this is Darius and welcome to Character Rigging Tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to rig this 3D character that we made in the previous video. Let's begin. This window, we don't need it anymore. So go to front view and turn on orthographic view. And to open the properties panel, set values to zero and character will be moved near the center. And move the character up on the Z axis. Make your cursor in the center of the grid. Press Shift S and cursor to center. Press Shift A to make location and rotation equal zero. The cursor is in the center, so I'm ready to create an armature. First, deselect everything and press Shift A to add single bone. To move in object mode G key. If you can see it, enable X ray in the display panel. Scale it and place it in the center. Go to edit mode, press E and extrude another bone. I'm going to rename the bones as part of the body. In edit mode, you can create a new bones for the arms. It is separated and not connected to the spine bones. Add to rotate and scale it. Move to the place where the shoulders begins. Add to rotate the angle. Where the arm is bended, you can rotate the bone more. In pose mode, you can check how the bone works. In edit mode, create the leg bones. Bring it up, rotate and move it down.
let's place uh, more leg bones Let's make the leg bones parent to the main spine bones. To do that, go to edit mode and select two separated bones and press Ctrl V. Keep offset. In pose mode, let's Test it. That is good. The spine and the leg bones are moving together. Let's make the same with the hand bones. I'm going to rename the leg bones and the hand bones. Change the end of the name to dot L. It would be the left side. Now you are ready to duplicate these bones to the other side. Let's mirror the leg and hand bones to the other side of the character. Move the pivot point to the 3D cursor place. It will help to mirror the in the same place in the other side. Press Shift D to duplicate it and press Ctrl M to mirror it. Press the X key to move it in the X axis and press Enter to return. We change from letter L to R, press W. Do the same with the legs. In pose mode, test it.
Let's connect the uh, armature bones to the character model. I forgot to join the eyes to the body. Extrude the eyes inside to the body and select the near faces with shift key. and press Ctrl G to join it. In the object mode, select the body and the armature and press Ctrl P. Click with automatic weights. Now you have your mesh moving like a solid object. That's it for the rigging. In the next part, I will explain how to add an animation for this character. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel.